Welcome to another edition of DevOps Bytes. This one is still focused on GitHub projects, and we're going to look at how you can add a priority field onto your issues that are on your GitHub projects board and how you can work with that. So here we are on our GitHub projects board. And if I click the plus icon, I can add a new field. You can also see that these are all the existing fields that are on the potentially on the issues that I could also add here. But in this case, I'm going to create a new field and we'll just call it priority. Priority. There we go. And I'm going to make it a single select so that I can make sure that you actually select the value that I want. So my priorities are just going to be low and I'll click add and then medium. I'll click add and high. Ooh, not hue, but high. And I'll click add. I'm going to save those. Now, as you can see, I now have the priority field on my project board. And I could say I'm going to make this one low. Let's say I'll make this one medium and I'll make this one high. Now, if I wanted to add other priorities, I could go to the settings for the project and I could go to settings and I could select the priority field and I could change the name of it if I wanted to. I could add more options like maybe I want to add a medium high option so I could add that. And I could even then I can move it to the appropriate spot. I can give these options things like colors and descriptions if I want to. So maybe for the high, we're going to come in here and we'll give it a red. And maybe for the medium high, we'll come in here and give it, say, orange. We'll make medium just be kind of yellow. And we'll set the low to be blue. So we can add some color coding to our options as well. And then if we go back out to our board, you can see we now actually can see the color coding, low, medium, high. Now these fields, anytime you add a custom field, like we added a custom field iteration before in a previous video, or this priority field, Anytime we add any of those fields, they actually will show up on the issue. So if we look at the issue itself, you can see in this case, well, the project showed up. I think the field will show up as well. So let's go view this in the actual interesting so the project that it's on I expected this priority field to show up on there as well maybe it doesn't let's refresh this page to make sure our fields are there And let's refresh this page. Ah, they're there. You just got to click the two more. There it is. See, I was missing something. So it shows you the project that it's a member of. Currently, there's has doesn't have a status on that project board because we don't even have that field on our page. We can see, and there's my priority of low versus this issue, which had a priority of... Ah, that was the one I was just looking at, fourth issue. So then I think we're also looking at fifth issue. Which has a priority of medium. So you can see that when you're setting things on the project board, those fields are also going to show up on the issues themselves. Now, on this main view or on this particular view of my project board, which is a table view, I can come in here and I can, in this case, I could sort by priority. So I could say only show me things that are no priority or maybe only show me the low ones. And then it only shows you the low ones. You also have the ability to come in here and say, 
You could sort this information. So you could sort all the lows and all the mediums and all the highs. You could actually group by. And I can see groupings of each individual column as well. It's another good way to view the, that information. I don't know if slice, does slice gonna help us here? Yeah, slice is interesting. Kind of gives us a different, a different way of viewing that information. So there you go. Most of your issues that you create, you're probably going to want to have some sort of priority so that you can be able to, to be able to rank those issues to be able to determine, you know, what's most important for us to work on. And this is a good way to do it by adding in a single select field that you call priority. All right. I hope you found this little DevOps Bytes uh, quick and easy to use. If so, I'd love for you to like the video and leave me a comment below as well as subscribe to the channel because all of that helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also leave me a comment of other things you want to see, either around project boards or anything around GitHub. And let me know if you like this format. This format makes it easier to get the content out or quicker to get the content out. But again, as you can see, it's a slightly different format from a perspective of quality. So I'll be curious your feedback. Thanks for watching. <music>